Welcome to 150 Days of the Psalms. This is Simone Soybe with Trinity of Love Ministries through the Holy Spirit. Today I'll be reading Psalm 7. Psalm 7, King James Version. O Lord my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me, lest he tear my soul like a lion, rending it, piece, it in pieces, while there is none to deliver. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be iniquity in my hands, if I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is mine enemy. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Yea, let him tread down my life upon the earth and lay mine honor in the dust. Selah. Arise, O Lord, in thy anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of mine enemies and awake for me to the judgment that thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about for their sakes. Therefore, return thou on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to mine integrity that is in me. O let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. My defense is of God, which saveth the upright in heart. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7, the message. God, God, I am running to you for dear life. The chase is wild. If they catch me, I'm finished. Ripped to shreds by foes fierce as lions. Dragged into the forest and left unlooked for un unremembered. God, if I've done what they say, betray my friends, rip off my enemies. If my hands are really that dirty, let them get me. Walk all over me. Leave me flat on my face in the dirt. Stand up, God. Pit your holy fury against my furious enemies. Wake up, God. My accusers have packed the courtroom. It's judgment time. Take your place on the bench. Reach for your gavel. Throw out the false charges against me. I'm ready, confident in your verdict. Innocent. Choose the book on evil, God. Close the book on evil, God. But punish, but publish your man ma mandate for us. You get us ready for life. You probe for our soft spots. You knock off our rough edges. And I'm feeling so fit, so safe, made right, kept right. God is solemn. In solemn honor does things right. But his nerves are sandpapered raw. Nobody gets by with anything. God is already in action. Sword honed on his whetstone, bow strung, arrow on the string, lethal weapons in hand, each arrow a flaming missile. Look at that guy. He had sex with sin. He's pregnant with evil. Oh, look, he's having the baby, a lie baby. See that man shoveling day after day, digging, then concealing his man trap down that lonely stretch of road? Go back and look again. You'll see him in it head first, legs waving in the breeze. That's what happens. Mischief backfires, violence boomerangs. I'm thanking God who makes things right. I'm singing the flame of heaven high, God. Hallelujah. Here ends the reading of the Lord's word. And the Lord is saying to humble yourself, beloved, for we all have fallen short. He knows your enemies have slung lies against you and words of defeat. But he has the last say, beloved. He has the last say. Do not be mocked or scorned any longer in your hearts, in your mind. Do not let the enemy come against you any longer with the lies. The Lord is on your side, beloved. And he is vindicating you. He is in the courtroom. And he says you are innocent by the blood of the lamb, not by your own efforts, but by the blood of the lamb. So we plead the blood of Jesus over you, over mind, body, and spirit. May you be at peace for the verdict of the living God.
who says that you are his beloved, you are his chosen, and whatever evil has come against you, so too shall they reap. So pray for mercy, and justice shall be vindicated in this hour. In Jesus' name, beloved, have a blessed evening, a blessed day. God loves you dearly. Keep him close to you in worship and in prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.